Okay, so let's do a bunch of problems using both the fundamental theorem of calculus and the second fundamental theorem of calculus. Okay, evaluate this integral. So the idea again is we're going to take um, the integrand here, what's in the integral, we're going to integrate it in the indefinite integral style and then do evaluations. So integrating x minus 2, integrating x we get x squared over 2, integrating 2 we get 2x. We then put that in brackets, negative 1 to 0, okay, and then that means we're going to take this expression, evaluate it 0, which would be 0 over 2 or 0, minus 2 times 0, and then subtract the evaluation at negative 1 which would be negative 1 squared over 2 minus 2 times negative 1. All right, so we would get this whole thing is 0 minus, uh, inside here we have 1 half plus 2. So we would get, uh, so 1 half plus 2, we have a minus, and 1 half plus 2 is 1 half plus 4 halves, so we get minus 5 halves. There's our answer. All right, this one here. Okay, so I'm taking a look first inside here. That's not going to be easy to integrate as it is. What I'm going to have to do is break that up. So, 4, I'm sorry, <laughs> that's a 4. This is a u over square root of u minus 2 over square root of u du. All right, and then u over the square root of u is actually the square root of u, or in other words, u to the 1 half, minus 2 over the square root of u, I should write as 2 u to the minus 1 half. So now I'm in a good spot because I have basically just powers of u, and I have to continue. All right, so again, I have it to where I can integrate it, so I want to integrate this thing. u to the 1 half integrates to u to the 3 halves, over 3 halves would be times 2 thirds, minus, okay, then we have 2 u to the minus 1 half, u to the minus 1 half, add 1, integrates to u to the 1 half, divided by 2, Sorry, divided by 1 half, so multiply by 2. So I'm going to multiply this 2 by another 2, and I get 4. All right, so I have this thing, 1 to 4. All right, so basically I'm ready. Now I can just evaluate at 4 minus the evaluation at 1. So evaluation at 4, so 2 thirds uh, times 4 to the 3 halves minus 4 times 4 to the 1 half minus the whole thing at 1. 2 thirds times 1 to the 3 halves minus 4 times 1 to the 1 half. All right, so what do we get? 2 thirds, 4 to the 3 halves is a square root of 4 is 2 times uh, to the 3rd is 8. So 2 thirds times 8 minus, all right, 4 to the 1 half is the square root of 4 is 2 times 4 is 8 minus, what do we get in the next part? Well, that's 2 thirds times 1 minus 4 times 1. So we get uh, 16 thirds minus 8 minus two-thirds plus four, or in other words, we get sixteen-thirds minus two-thirds is fourteen-thirds, minus eight plus four is uh, minus four, so we get uh, fourteen-thirds minus twelve-thirds, two-thirds in the end. All right, so realize we were done integrating by this step, and then it was evaluation for all the rest of this, but that's how we ended up with the two-thirds.
Okay, integrate negative one to one, t to the one third minus t to the two thirds. Okay, this is not as bad as it looks. We basically have stuff to powers, so that shouldn't be that bad. All right, so integrating t to the one third. Uh, t to the one third plus one, so t to the four thirds times three fourths minus t to the two thirds integrated add one t to the five thirds divided by five thirds is times three fifths this whole thing negative one to zero all right so now we're evaluated zero three fourths times zero now well, that's going to be zero that's going to be zero all right minus now this whole thing at negative one so three fourths times negative one to the four thirds minus three fifths times negative one to the five thirds. All right, so what do we get? Well, the first thing is obviously going to give us a zero over here minus, all right, negative one to the four thirds is cube root of negative one is negative one to the fourth is one. So I get three fourths minus, okay. Now this minus one to the five thirds is minus one cube root is minus one to the fifth is uh, minus one. So I actually get plus, this is the minus minus, three fifths. So I get minus 15 twentieths plus 12 twentieths. So I get minus 27 twentieths. Okay, how about this one? Well, again, the whole thing is, can I integrate what's inside there? Yes, secant squared integra integrates to tan. So it's tan x from negative pi over 6 to pi over 6, which means it's just going to be tan pi over 6 minus tan negative pi over 6. Okay. So tan pi over 6, if we do sine pi over 6 of co over cosine pi over 6, um, we're going to actually end up with 1 over radical 3. And tan minus pi over 6 is the same thing, but one of the, but the uh, sine is negative now. So I get negative 1 over radical 3. And so that gives us 1 over radical 3 plus 1 over radical 3, or 2 over radical 3. Um, or some people would like to write that probably as 2 radical 3 over 3. Okay. Now the second fundamental theorem, and I know that because we're doing the derivative of an integral. Okay, so now notice I do have in the upper limit here the same thing that I'm taking the derivative of. So this is going to be a simple substitution, simple change of variable. All right, so really I'm just getting the t squared over t squared plus 1 with x. So I get x squared over x squared plus 1. All right. That was it. Here, a little different. Again, I have x cubed there, and I have x, so it's not a uh, I, I have that chain rule factor now. So it's still going to be, so it's going to be sine t squared, but t replaced with x cubed. So x cubed squared times the derivative of x cubed. So this is sine of x to the sixth times 3x squared, or in other words, 3x squared sine x to the sixth. All right, so that is our final answer. Remember, both of these, I did not do an integration and then a differentiation. I did it all at once using the second fundamental theorem of calculus. All right, so that fundamental theorem of calculus and the second fundamental theorem of calculus is big, a big result. It's fundamental. And uh, so that's what we've seen is it gives us both a way of evaluating definite integrals and a way of taking the derivative of integral functions. So very important uh, 
um, and very nice result.